Thank you Nordgreen for sponsoring this video. get productive with me right now i have a lot to do not really school related but tasks and chores so i thought that i'd show you how that gets done um right now it is 12 so it's not like an ideal time to start my work i was cleaning up and everything now at my desk and I'm ready to go so the first thing i'm going to be doing is writing out what i have to do for today As you can see, my to-do list is filled with a lot of miscellaneous stuff because I have been planning on doing this but I haven't had the time and now that I have the day to complete it, I can finally get it done. Also, I wanted to show you guys a package that I got from Nordgreen. Huge thank you to them for sending this out. I really appreciate it. So Nordgreen is a watch company and they sell a lot of different types of watches. This particular package, I actually got the watch in rose gold. They packaged it with a tote bag. This is actually made from 100% recycled materials. This is what the packaging looks like. This is so beautiful. This is the watch, wow. This is so gorgeous. Nordgreen is not only a beautiful company in that they have so many different styles and colors and wristbands to the point where you can make your own bundle, but they also give back to the community and make sure that every order donates a meal to frontline workers. So the design that I got is the 36 millimeter rose gold philosopher watch. The rose gold really stood out and I've never really seen a watch like it. I will definitely link it down below if you're interested in matching with me. Nordgreen also gives back to the environment. I actually didn't know this until I went through their website, but they have a program called the giving back program, which I will talk more about in the next few minutes. Let's put this on and see how it looks. So the giving back program is essentially where you can pick a place to donate the money from your watch. So there are three causes. The first cause is providing clean water to people in Africa, educating children in India, or protecting the rainforest. I picked clean water in Africa and I will just fill in my information and they'll donate the money. I honestly think that the best part is the fact that I actually have the time on me because usually when I do my study vlogs, I check the time on my laptop and that really hasn't been the most convenient way so I can easily keep track of time now that it's actually on my wrist. Thank you again to Nord Greeny for not only sending me this but also being such a huge support to the environment and to also frontline workers. I am very excited to finally have the time actually on me instead of looking at my laptop but let's move on to the first thing on my list which is replying to my emails. So I replied to all my emails, so that's the first two checked off my list. Now I just have to write out an email for my program, so that's what we're gonna do. So I finished writing out that email and I actually have to make a poster. It's not written on my to-do list, but it is my family friend's graduation. So I'm going to be writing a happy graduation on a poster. So we're gonna do that now. I actually have a really big roll of poster paper that I took from my dad. It's usually for the blueprints, but I use it for like decorations and everything. This is what 
I'm talking about. It's like this really big roll of paper that we can use to write down happy graduation. And my desk, I think it's big enough to spread the entire thing out, I hope. So we're gonna do it on my desk. My desk is actually a standing desk. I got it a couple days ago and assembled it in my last video. Now I'm realizing how convenient this is considering how I can just stand and draft out the posters. I'm just really excited to actually have a use for this. I already drafted the words and where they're gonna go. I would like it to be like more expansive, but I don't have enough desk space and I don't think I have big enough brush pens to do that. But this is what I have right now. It's this dual tip brush pen. And this is like a case full of random brush pens of all different sizes and colors and styles. I have like metallic and then solids, but um, we have a lot of, markers to work with, so. God. okay this is so embarrassing so obviously it started out fine you know doing whatever and then it got to when my pen ran out of ink so I try to fix it with purple I'm going to have to redo the entire thing because obviously this is hideous and I mean I have enough paper to do so so we're gonna start over and hope that the second one is the best All right, so um, it's too late to actually finish it because um, the guest already arrived. So um, I guess I'm just gonna bring it downstairs and complete it because there really isn't any point. So we're just gonna pack it up and bring it downstairs. I am going to go eat lunch and then when I return, I'm gonna finish up what I have to do on my to-do list. But in case you're wondering, this is basically what it looks like from a top. I was actually gonna follow through with like putting balloons on the other side and then finish up the congratulations, but. I 
just finished eating lunch and now I'm going to start editing and exporting the video. right now is my desk transformation video i just have to include the end card and a voiceover for the last clip as well as the title card for the first clip and then i'm finished so i usually do those edits on my phone and after that i will try to export the video and get the thumbnail in and everything so this is some of what i do on my phone to prepare for a youtube video i make the thumbnail on fonto usually i just take a simple image but i had a lot of images that i liked so i compiled it together on canva online air dropped it to my iphone and then added text and some designs to make the text stand out and to make my end card i basically make a copy of my previous end card on Villo and then put the image of the thumbnail on top so update on my editing, I did all the animations, and the title, and the end card. I provided a few clips of how I do my thumbnail so you guys can have a good idea of what the process looks like on my phone. But I'm going to be revising it and then exporting it, so I think I can cross that off my list. Alright, so while my video is exporting, I'm going to move on to the next task, which is to organize my stationery for a haul video. I was planning on filming a haul video. The stationery is wrapped in bubble sheets, so I just need to unpackage it and get it ready for filming. some extra pieces and check that everything is there next i have to do some designs for a special project that i'm working on i'm probably going to skip that and do it on later in the day so next is to complete any schoolwork it's so general and not like specific like physics homework or anything because it is only about a few days before the end of school and my teachers have been posting like random assignments that i don't know when it's due it's getting a bit confusing so every few days i just check to make sure that i'm updated on everything so i'm going to be looking through my google classroom and making sure that i'm not missing any assignments So I finished an AP Lang assignment. All right, so we can cross out the schoolwork. I had an AP Biology one, but that has a later deadline. So I decided to move up on my task list and do the designs that I was talking about. It's getting a little bit late and I have my sister's iPad here. So we are going to start designing some illustrations. So I'm going to be lifting my table up because I like drawing when I'm standing for some reason.
took me a little longer than it should have. I'm not really surprised because it was a whole process. And I still didn't perfect it, but it is a start and I did get somewhere. Um, so I can cross that out. Now I just have to sell my beats on YouTube and organize clothing shelves. So when it comes to selling the beats on YouTube, I basically mean just posting it on YouTube and asking if anyone is willing to buy it because I've had beats for about like a year now and it's still in its shrink wrap. Let me actually go get it. So this is the beats that I was talking about. It's literally new and still in its packaging. And I have been meaning to sell it for a while, but it's one of those things that I've pushed to the back and forgot to actually do. That's one thing I have to do. So the next item is to organize the clothing shelf. That is my clothing shelf over there. And you guys might've seen it in the background of some of my videos. It's very embarrassing because it is clearly a mess. I've been meaning to organize that for a long time. So I'm going to get to that tonight and post picture of my beats so these two are like small mini tasks that i've been pushing away even though it takes only a couple minutes um and after that i am done for today all right so this is my very embarrassing and messy shelf basically i organize it by shirts and hijabs on the top sports clothes in the middle so this does not belong there and pants on the bottom so i have a lot of um sports jerseys and shirts from volleyball and they actually kind of like fill up the bottom too for the first shelf i'm thinking about taking everything out and then folding it putting it back in and then doing the same thing for the rest of the shelves I managed to condense everything um over here i have the hijabs that i wear the most my shirts and then my warmers and like practice jerseys and stuff like that and then over here i have like my actual jerseys and my pants i've been meaning to do this for like weeks and i never got to it it still looks kind of messy but it's just because this doesn't really fit everything but looks pretty good to me all right, so I guess we can finally check off the last two. So we were actually pretty productive today. I'm glad I was able to take you guys along and show you guys what responsibilities I have outside of that study vlog realm. And I hope that this motivates you guys to be productive, not only in your studies, but in your responsibilities. Um, thank you again for watching and special thank you to Nord Green for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for sending me this watch and I highly recommend that you guys check out their products. This is the watch that I got and I think it's gorgeous. I usually don't find accessories to be my thing considering how a lot of companies don't really tailor towards darker skin tones, but this company, let me tell you, there's just so many options and it is so diverse. I love the minimalistic look and I recommend that you guys check them out if you want to treat yourselves or your friends or your family. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!